well how's it going um video number four i think and uh they're going quite well um in my eyes anyway so getting a few likes there i think i have a whole magnitude of about 757 in one of the videos which is no doubt pathetic in some of the influencers eyes probably skithering at and going hi oh, look at your man thinks he's big stuff for the 700 views but I have a blog as well I have a website and if I wrote a blog and I got 700 views I'd be quite happy you know and this is this is kind of like a blog and it's kind of like uh, a podcast and it's a bit like short form content and it's a bit of something else I'm not sure what but uh, it's not selling it's not this idea of please buy my stuff buy my books or watch my films or plays or whatever so um, it's more of a commentary on something art mostly and life and the mind of the writer so I'm in Dublin and you can probably hear the siren there in the background I'm looking out over what's the name of this street I'm on now Camden Street and I had a funny incident last night I went for a walk and I come back to the hotel and went for a walk put on my blue jeans my brown shoes and my Ben Sherman top that I bought, not a top, a shirt that I bought in a charity shop. So it was like some sort of all denim, muck savage cowboy type for Mayo. Uh, which kind of, I suppose, stuck out because I was crossing some path somewhere down the road there on the way into Dame Street, I think it is. And uh, I heard this, hello, excuse me, sir. Hi, hi, hello. And I looked back and there was a woman trying to get my attention. It was about five or six o'clock in the evening I suppose seven maybe and she said hi 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 and I said hello 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 how are we getting on and she said I'm from somewhere Arkansas I think or Virginia I'm not sure which some uh, obscure place in the States but I'm staying in Wexford and she said she did have an American accent she's quite well dressed and she had um, sunglasses and that and uh, she said, I was in the Guinness storehouse today and I had five pints of Guinness and I looked around and my bag and my phone and everything in it was gone, it was stolen, gone. And she was kind of looking up at me going, you know, this kind of way where you're in Dublin and you're from America and you're trying to get back to Wexford and you've no money. And here's you, Mr. Me Man, who might just believe me. And I was like, really? All right. Yeah, it is. That's tough going on. She goes, yeah, I'm the last hour and a half walking around there trying to get people to help me and nobody will help nobody and it's probably true you know because up here you know everyone is just kind of going no can't help you no don't have it no no change and she kind of was half crying a little bit then and I was like well you know this is I'm not you know this is a bit awkward but she seems genuine it doesn't look like a drug thing it doesn't look like a con it doesn't look like a a sort of a fellow waiting around the corner is going to burst your head off the wall the first chance he gets and rob you and uh, not that I have much anyway so I said the question that kind of hung in the air um, how much do you need and she just looked up and she kind of relieved it she said I need 1450 for the bus to Wexford uh, that's what it costs and if I can go back to Wexford I'll be able to get my tablet and I'll be able to ring my mother and I'll be able to get the revolute and I send it back to you and the whole lot and I said right okay 1450 you know it's not like 50 quid or 100 quid or whatever I said probably 1450 I could take a chance you know seems genuine and you know she could probably get um end up sleeping on the streets or something and get killed or something so I was like 1450 sure look go on I said the only thing is now I've no cash and I'm working off my phone so I've no like I can't go to an ATM or anything. And she goes, well, sure, I have no bag. I have no Revolut or anything. And we went, right. And I said, well, you know, I'm not, I, I don't have any cards with me. I just have my phone and I'm paying for stuff off my phone. I said, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll bring you down to Bus Oris. We'll go down to the bus and I'll walk you to the bus and I'll pay for the ticket off my card. And she thought then, she said, no, that won't work. I says, why not? And she goes, no, 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 that won't work. And I was kind of getting a bit suspicious then. And I said, why not? She goes, because when you're on the bus, you have to pay the driver on the bus and he only collects the money. A conductor comes down when you're on the way to Wexford and he'll collect the money off you. And, you know, 
you'd have to be halfway to Wexford by the time you'd pay for the bus and sure you won't be on the way to Wexford with me and I was like ah that's a bit weird um, doesn't sound right you could buy it online or do anything she's like no 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 it's the only way to buy fucking buses to Wexford I've never been to Wexford so maybe she was right so she thought then and she was kind of looking at me and I was kind of looking at her thinking Jesus I'm kind of getting a bit I don't know now what I'm going to do and um, was she half thinking we'll go drinking or she'll come back to the hotel or we'll get to know each other or I'll bring her for dinner or I'll magically bring up the money that she thinks I have that you know I'm not telling her about and I was like I don't know now what you're going to do so she looked over my shoulder and she said there's a Tesco over there I said that's good and she goes would you do me a favor so would you buy me 20 cigarettes would you buy me cigarettes uh, it'll help with the anxiety of trying to get through this as we go on uh, through the night and I try and get help I said right 1450 for a bus ticket that you don't want that I was going to give you so I'll buy you a pack of smokes instead so we went over to Tesco and she went up to the counter I said do you need anything else now she said I'll get a bottle of Lucozade as well so she got a big bottle of Lucozade for herself and she went up to the counter and she said uh, I need cigarettes and John Player King something and your man gave her the cigarettes and she said, no, 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 they're the wrong ones now. They're only 20, I want 28. 20 won't do, it has to be 28, John Player, something, something, something. And the bottle of said. So your man went top, 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 he typed it all into the thing and he said, that's 21 euros and 80 cents, please. So I said, fuck it, right. So I tapped the thing anyway. She got the 21.80 and the fags and the, the bottle of said. And we got outside and she said, uh, that's great, no, thanks very much. She seemed very relieved. I said, sure, I'll give you the number anyway, you know, and you can revolute me or whatever you want. If you want, it's not a big deal, like, just trying to help you out. And she said, do, do, do. And she gave me her number. I wrote it into the phone. And uh, she went off then. She goes, thanks very much. And she went off and had a cigarette for herself. And that was the end of her. And I looked up the number then. And uh, later on, you know, she was like, oh, when I get back to go or where was it, Wexford, Gory in Wexford, um, I'd be able to open my tablet and get a WhatsApp. And sure, I opened up the phone and no WhatsApp. It's one of them numbers that doesn't connect to the WhatsApp. You know, when it look, shows you a picture or a phone or a WhatsApp connection. It's not on WhatsApp at all. I don't know even if it's the right number. So I sent her a text message and said, I it's Mick or whatever. Hope you got home safe, nothing back. So, so I don't know, was that like a charitable act where you're on social media, like a bollocks saying, look at the cool thing I did, like taking pictures of homeless people uh, when you're giving them money and looking for praise which I'm not um, or was it a scam or which it didn't seem to be um, you know and if it was it was a very efficient one and she didn't get much out of it like she got something but not a lot and uh, that's Dublin for you I suppose it happens all the time I'll go for a walk around now tonight and see you again uh, will she be around again that's the trick isn't it I'll go down the same street now and go down the same shop around Tesco and see she's there she was a nice person though she seemed sound Except for that, when she got the 28 uh, cigarettes instead of the 20 and the bottle of Lucozade. And she didn't want the bus ticket out of bus hours, which is odd. Um, I thought that was weird. But other than that, maybe it was a scam. I don't know. But she got a story out of it anyway. And a uh, bit, bit of a laugh, I suppose. Not that funny, really. Um, don't have 2180 to be thrown around the place. But I suppose you have to take a chance on people too, because you don't know. So I didn't give it to her. I mean, she'd be like on the streets and God knows what would happen and, and that. So we'll see. Uh, any thoughts on that? Much appreciated. And uh, here's another eight minute TikTok. Actually, the, uh, the average watch of my video so far has been 12 seconds. So we're about uh, eight minutes and 48 seconds past so where I've probably been talking to myself. So. Hope you enjoyed the spakes. Uh, I'm in Dublin here anyway tonight again. So I'll see you. Do I get up to any more mischief or get in any more trouble? And uh, thanks for watching. And uh, you know, this is not a sales thing or a podcast or a, you know, when you're watching a podcast and you start hearing ads, getting stuff down your throat. That's not what we're at here. So um, nine minutes and 30 seconds. So best of luck.